Um, hi guys, so I haven't made a video in a while, and the only reason because of that is I've been struggling, like, work and stuff, and I just haven't had time, but as you see now, I am actually going to film one. It is, let me see what time it is, it is 11.30 at night, um, on Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to you guys, and this is going to be the late but not forgetful um, November favorites. This is the first favorite, like, video that I've made, so if you don't like it, if you don't like favorite videos, I would just stop and leave my channel now, but if you'd like to see what my favorites are, then stick tuned, and yeah. So some of these things, just to let you guys know, I, some of them I've made, and others of them, I've, like, used almost half of it, and, like, a little bit's left, or whatever. So to start off, I love this thing. It is from... Where is this from? I don't really remember, but it's from somewhere. Let me think of the name. It's by Mud Pie. If you can see that on my phone. And my camera's like, oh, well, right now I want to oh, see, see that right there. It's by Mud Pie. And it's like this print like this on the outside. And in the inside, let's see if I can open it. Hold on. It just has a zipper, and in the inside, there's actually, like, rubber bands in there, sorry about that. There, it's zebra print, and it has this little pocket right here, which has beads in it. <laughs> sorry about that. And it fits my phone perfectly, like, my phone fits in here really perfectly. And I like this little pocket on the front because it is see-through, and it is a pocket still. I'm going to put my ID in there, so if cops stop me, or somebody stops me and says, let me see your ID. I can just hand them the whole case, and it's easy and simple. And then on the inside, they like, credit cards. It's convenient to go in there, and it's really, just, really fun to put in there. Like, and I really like this case. So, that's the first item. It just looks like that, and it's about the size of my hand. Looks like that. Okay. Next item is a, um, Bath and Body Works item. Let's see if it will focus. It is the Pocket like bacteria hand sanitizer and it is Caribbean escape and as you see there's pretty much nothing left because I love the smell of this and I am a germaphobe and I hate like I'm so tempted to use the rest of this right now but I'm like one of these people that find like after I go to the bathroom people don't wash their hands or like anything I touch it gotta unless it's like mine and I've touched it before I've gotta put hand sanitizer on it and it honestly smells like coconuts and I don't know flowers it smells so good so that's that one and these are not in any suspicious can't even talk these are not in any um order they're just all mixed around and then the next thing is this bottle but it, the, the stuff inside isn't the like what it the bottle is the bottle is just suave kids detangling yeah detangling spray double dutch apple and it says tear free but that's not what's in the thing i'll spray it so you can see what color it is let me see if i can find something okay so there's like this little napkin right here like the one that was in this bottle before it it, it was um green and this one as you can see kind of it's purple and it smells so good so sorry about that so that one's purple the new one, I mean, it's purple. And the new one is, there's a video of my channel that I made a while ago of this detangler slash, slash, leave-in conditioner. Um, so if you want to go check that out, you guys may. But I really like this spray bottle because it, like, sprays, like, evenly. So you can see. See how it, like, sprays? I don't know. It just sprays evenly. Now my bed's all wet right there. Sorry. Um, but that's that one. And the next thing is stuff for the rabbits and guinea pigs but i'll just start with the rabbits because max has one or there if you can see him in his cage already and i can't pull it out because it is quite warm so they are these you're probably gonna think oh my god what is she doing with those there are these socks long socks that are stuffed with instant rice and you're probably thinking, oh my god, I'm not able to chew through that. Actually, the smell of the instant rice makes them not want to chew. That's why I use instant. I don't use regular. Um, so this one is Bruno's because he is the cold rabbit. And in Florida right now, it is 40 degrees or 50 degrees or something. And for us, that's really cold. So, yeah. So this is his. It's just, just a white sock with rice. And you can either, you can use it for summer or winter. For winter, you can put it in the microwave for like... 
I put it in for a minute and then you take it out and it's really hot. But you don't want to burn the rabbit's like skin or whatever. So I put it under like bedding or a fleece or something and then they can lay on it and still be warm. So that's Bruno's and it's like sort of long. He like lay he like he likes to lay on it. And then Thumpers, Max is over there drinking water if you can hear him. Or he's chewing his cage, I don't know what he's doing. And then this is Thumpers. She doesn't really like hers that much, but I like putting it around her litter box because she stays most of the time in her litter box. And since I clean her litter box every other day, I think I thought it would be like a good idea to put it around the foil because her, her litter box is foil. Put it around the foil to keep the foil warm. Keep the foil warm. Max, you're killing me. Sorry. Keep the foil warm and then... And then the foil would keep her warm. Not burn her, but yeah. So that's mine. Or that's hers. And if you want a video on how to make these, go to my channel and I will... Or go... Or like leave a comment below and say you want a video and I will make one. I don't know what Max is doing. He's like running around over there. Max, you're killing me, bud. <clears throat> Next thing, I found these things in Home Depot. And not that stuff, sorry. Found these things at Home Depot. This big long tube, which if you can see it, it's right there. And then the top is right there. Right there. Okay. But um it's just this long tube that I decided and it's thick. It's like if you can hear that, it's really thick. I don't know. And I cut it, I have my dad help me, and I cut it into little squares like this. And I soaked the one. Let me see if I can reach up. Hold on, sorry. You see the one in his cage right there? I soaked it in carrot juice, and therefore he decides to chew on it now. But they don't get soggy like regular cardboard work because they're really hard, like I said before. And this one, actually, um, Bruno's had quite a chew on it, if you can see around the edges. And, um, like, right here, and he pulled, like, this off. So, he quite likes this. I had to take it out of his cage, though, because we had to swap the toys. And, yeah. But the only thing I don't like about Max Max in these is it's not, like, plastic or anything. So you can't really clean them out after they pee in them. And since Max can stick his head, like, pretty much all in his body all the way in there, he, like, makes it, like, as a tunnel. But it's not a tunnel. But he, like, decides he wants to pee in there and then it pees in there and then it smells and it's gross. And I don't want him chewing on it, so then I have to end up throwing it away. But that's, like, part of the reason why I got a really big one. Um, so that's that one. Thumpers I couldn't take out of her cage because she just got in because we did switch toys today. Um, the next thing is a jewelry item that I'm actually kind of in love with. Like, I wear it everywhere. I had to take it off so I could make this video. Um, it is this little, it's like this necklace right here. And the thing on it, it's like a starfish and a sand dollar. It's really hard to see because it's like really bright and like, I don't know. And it is 14 karat white gold, and my boyfriend got it for me, and I really like it. So, yeah. So, this is that. And I, like, going to put it right back on after this video, because I don't really take it off, like, ever. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to put that up here. Then the next thing is a, another beauty slash item thing. And he also got this for me. This It was our, like, nine, it was our nine month. And he got me a bunch of presents and stuff. And most of the stuff from there, from, like, there is, like, presents, too. This one is nail polish. It's style, so style, sorry, Salon Perfect Nail Polish. And it is in the color Traffic Cone, if that decides it really wants to focus. Come on, buddy. No? Okay, well, it's in the color Traffic Cone, and you can't really see on the camera. But it's, like, really bright. Like, it's on my toes right now. My number toes are really bad. But it's, like, really bright right there. You see it? Yeah. Um, it's really bright, and I love it. So, you should totally check this color out. And I, like, used a lot of it. And he was like, I know you don't like orange and blah, blah, blah. But I think you would like this one. And I was like, all right, cool. So, I, like, really like this one. Um, okay, then the next thing, I have started this new hobby. And he, like found out about it and he bought me a bunch of this stuff right here um i started this new hobby where i collect waxes and sort of things because i have a little monster over there if you can see the lights let's see if i can see him you see that little monster right there right there yeah right well, like he's like right 
there. Well, he like melts the wax and my room smells really good. And since my room is quite large, it's really large. Um, I needed to find something that would work to keep the smell like to keep the room smelling good. So I found these things. He got me the monster and then dropped it like three times, which is really sad. And pretty much broke. <laughs> but I still use it anyway. He got me the monster, and then the first scent I ever, ever got, which is in there now, is this one by Scent. If you can see that. Scent Stationals. And it is um, fresh air. That's what it's called. And it says just breathe. And then when you open it, it is the color blue. Favorite color. No, I'm just kidding. Yellow is my favorite color, but blue is my second favorite. And it smells like, it honestly smells like, um, laundry detergent. And I'm kind of obsessed with that, like, smell. Like, every time I would go to his house, you probably don't want to hear this, but yeah. But every time I would go to his house, um, I would go and I would do his laundry or whatever. I would sit there and I would smell the laundry detergent because it smells so good. So he got me this one, and this one's in there now. And let me show you. Oh, mind the mess, mind the mess. And I got the pebble form of this one, so it kind of looks like that. So, like, that's my little monster dude. See him? Yeah. He's doing some of the new ones in there. And then the next one... Ooh, just broke something. Sorry, guys. And then the next one that I got, there's only one set left. And it actually was, like, a cookie that you... It was, like, a wax cookie. And I actually cut it up and did a lot of things with it. So, that's why there's only one left. It was like a pie, actually. Or like a cupcake. So, it had like stuff on the top. And I already like used the stuff on the top. But, the bottom is a Hawaiian punch vanilla, like, mix or whatever. And, it is, smells so good. And, I've used it like three times before the smell has like gone. And then, to get the smell to come back, you put it in the freezer. And, I found that really works. So, yeah. And it just looks like this. And it's quite thick, actually. Like, you wouldn't think. It's like this thick. So, I don't know. I really like this one. This is the last one, too. So, I gotta get him to get me more. <laughs> um, next. Sorry, guys. Next is a homemade one that I've actually made. He actually taught me how to make these. So, sorry if I'm talking about him a lot. Sorry. Um, you can just fast forward or whatever. Like, skip it up behind it or whatever. Um, he made these ones, or he, like, helped me make these ones. They're green on the bottom. They're watermelon scented. Or, like, they're, like, no, they're, like, Christmas. These are the Christmas ones. I have a watermelon one somewhere. I think they're at his house. Sorry. These are the Christmas ones. So even though they're pink, or the green on the bottom, pink on the top, they have little Christmas sprinkle things on them. And if I open them up, can I do it with one hand? Um, uh, yes, I can. They look like that. And they smell so good. Like, I can honestly smell them every day. <laughs> the rest of my life. My camera's being stupid, sorry. Um, so those are, that's that one. Ooh, don't want to put that one up there. And then the next one that I've ever got, like, in packages, it's by Better Homes. And it says, and gardens, Better Homes and Gardens. And it's called Tropical, mm, I don't, I'm not going to try to say that word because I know I'm going to get it wrong. Tropical something. <laughs> petals and uh, there's like pictures of flowers there and when you pop that open it is kind of this pinkish purplish reddy color and as you see in these two like ones over here in the far bottom those are the ones i've used before because <laughs> there's like holes in them um and it smells like flowers it smells so good and this is the one when <laughs> um he, this is like memories slash like um, November favorites. So if you don't want to watch the memories part, just skip through, please. Um, this is the one where he got back from Afghanistan because he actually is in the army, and um, I left this one in his or he left this one in his room for me for Christmas, and it said don't open until you get back. But knowing me, I went and I opened it, and it had this one. It was like I know you're gonna, and then in the note inside, it was like I know you're gonna open this, but when I come home, I hope this is in my room because I love the smell. So when he came home from or when he told me he was coming home the day but after or like before, I like sent this in his room and like yeah. So it has a lot of memories in it, and I'm not going to throw it away, even though it this small, like, it's bad or something. So that's that one. Um, so, yeah. 
Next is one of my, like, I like it, but I don't like it. It's kind of weird. My la The last one I, I love, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Better Homes and Gardens, Scented Wax Cubes, and this one is Harvest Berry Preserve. If you can read that right there. And the picture looks right there. And when you pop this one open, it is a deep red color. It actually does look like berries. And it just folds out like that, comes out like that. This is the one that I've already used before, too. And it's honestly, it comes in like six squares. Let's see if I can get the other two out with my hand. No, but it comes like in like six squares. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, one, two, three, sorry. And it just pops in, pops out. It's not that hard. And then um, what you do is you would, um, let's see if I can take it out again. Pop it out like that, and then you would break, well, you would break off a little square and put it in the monster. Like, it's really simple and easy to turn the monster on, and that's easy. And this one smells, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever gone to, like, the store and bought Starbucks, or Starbucks, but, um, Starburst, and eaten the berry flavored. Well, that's what this smells like. It's probably weird. Probably you haven't done that. Oh, <laughs> me, sorry. But that's that one. Then the last one is my absolute favorite. I could die over this one. And as you see, I've used pretty much all the cubes. And there's still, there's like wax on the front right here, if you can see that. Right there. See how I'm pushing it? Yeah. There's like wax right there. Right here. And like here. And like all over that. So that, this is like. Definitely favorite. <laughs> um, it is by Better Homes and Gardens, like before. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. This is Soft Cashmere Amber, and it has like a picture of a blanket, but I don't understand why it does or whatever. Let me see if I can plop this one open. It, I've used all of these squares before, and it's just like a whitish, creamish, it's like a yellowish color actually. It won't focus on my camera, but it's yellow. And it smells, this is probably gonna sound really bad, but it smells like my boyfriend, like straight up like when he comes home i just gonna be like oh my god this is what you smell like but yeah um it is made with let's see i don't think it actually says i really don't um uh, it doesn't really say but it's like cashmere amber and it smells so good and max is over there eating the cage again sorry guys what are you doing bud all right um and it just smells so good and as you said before or as i said before if i can plop this one out and see Nope. Okay, sorry, I can't. Uh, it is this kind of color. It's like yellow. It looks on uh, in real life, like in the without the camera, it is actually like yellow, but like on the camera, it looks white. But yeah, and it smells so good. If there was like a smell thing on YouTube, I would love that because it would smell. You guys could smell my stuff. It smells so good. Okay, well those are all my favorites. I don't really like have favorites for anything else. Um. So that was my video. If you want to check out um, my video, if you want a video on how to make the sock um, heating pads for your rabbits slash guinea pigs slash hamsters slash rodents slash anything like that, then please comment below, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a, had a good Thanksgiving because it's like 11 o'clock at night right now. Uh, I will see you guys and talk to you guys soon. Bye. Love you guys.